Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. <laughs> I leave comments, guys. I love answering them. Now, I'll do my best to get to them within 24, but sometimes it takes a little more. And, guys, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Because it helps the channel grow. I need visibility. I'm trying to get get some more visibility out there. And you're going to see more videos. They're going to be short ones, probably. And they're going to be mostly, mostly poli politics or news, reports on news, news that I see. But it's going to happen. We got to get get growing. Okay, folks. As I told you in the last video, we were going to talk about what happened out on I ninety five this week in Virginia, folks. Now, I have not heard if anybody died. I don't believe they did, but I believe some people got very, very cold. You want you want to see me laugh at people, at their stupidity? Let it be colder than blue blazes outside. I'm bundled up like Nanook of the Nor, and I see some young guy or young woman wearing pajama pants or a pair of shorts and flip-flops and a muscle shirt or a lightweight. And then, then they walk into Walmart or the store you're at complaining about how cold it is. Part of this is a failure of mom and dad. Part of this is a failure of the school districts for not getting them mental health help because they got to be nuts. Last week, well, New Year's Day, temperature, the bottom on the bag that keeps the temperature normal around here fell out. It become unlaced and it fell to the ground. We went from about a 40 degree day on Thursday to about a 32 degree day on Friday. And on Saturday, oh dear God, it was sub-zero numbers all day long. That was wind chill. Guys, I'm going to say this and say it real well. Dress for the weather. Next week, I'm going to show you the suit I was wearing New Year's Day to go visit my mom at the nursing home. And the nurses were all wanting to know where to get one. One of them looked it up on the computer the minute she saw the price, she said, oh God. And I told her to wait till summer. And then I told her, get several pair of, of thermals. Guys, when I take off out of the house, summer or winter, I have my go bag, my get home bag in the car. In the summer, there is no sleeping bag. In the winter, there's a sleeping bag. Guys, have extra clothes. have extra pants, wool socks, 
thermal tops and bottoms, heavy shirt or a hoodie or whatever it is you want to have in there, have it in the car. Have a heavy coat. Now, guys, I'm a firm believer that if you walk out of that house and you don't have all this stuff in the car, that's your fault. Also have, have a minimum of three days. I upgraded after the I-95 deal. I upgraded to the fact that I've got seven days worth of meals in the car. That's lunch and breakfast. Or breakfast and lunch, supper, whatever you want to call it for me. And it's all high carbohydrate. Why are high carbohydrates? One of the things that I learned a long time ago is I get cold if I'm not eating some kind of carbs. My favorite meal in the winter, spaghetti. Because it, it's almost all carbos. Guys, prepare for this stuff. And when you get, when you walk out to that car, let me say this, when you walk out to that car, carry a bottle of water, a liter at least, or three or four of those 24, three or four of these at any given time. Because you don't know if you're going to make it home in timely fashion. Ask these people. Oh, Tim, oh, Tim came from uh, Virginia. He's a senator from Virginia. Ran with uh, Hillary. Was lamenting that he was trapped on I-95. Well, if he was in a government limo, I got news for you. He was better prepared than anybody on that highway unless they're a prepper or a trucker. Just get prepared. Dave Canterbury. I like Dave Canterbury. Some of the stuff Dave Canterbury does. It really, for out here in the Texas Panhandle, some of his stuff doesn't fit us. But his basic ideas are all, all damn good. So, folks, get prepared. Carry a get-home bag. Carry a wool blanket or a sleeping bag for every member who's in that car. If you're more than five miles away from home, you need this, this is all stuff you need to do. Heck, for me, just running around here in town. I carry it. Then, guys and gals, carry candles or something as a heat source. Crack the windows on your car. As a friend of mine said, she cracked her, cracked her sunroof, and uh, she got a sunroof crack it. But make darn sure that you have ventilation. And for those of you that are thinking about using the uh, Heat Buddy, uh, there's a special name for the one that I'm thinking of. 
it's it's a heat buddy that's designed to be in a golf cart when you're out golfing. Make damn sure you got got a window crack. Carbon monoxide will get you in a heartbeat. And from somebody who's had carbon monoxide poisoning, I'm going to guarantee you, you can't tell it's happening till it's done. So, get prepared. Have blankets, wool socks, boots, a change of clothes, heavy coat, food, water, a way to, to dispose of your mess. I'm, and I'm meaning your personal body waste. Keep a, as close to a full tank as you can. Keep a portable radio in the car. That way you don't have to do anything but start your car for maybe 15, 20 minutes at a, at a time till it heats up, warms up, turn it back off, and let it set and stay under the blankets. Don't be opening doors, don't be opening windows. With that being said, I'm the Ancient Warrior. And remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you're prepping, you're gonna live free. I'm the Ancient Warrior and we're out.